Oh, it's amazingly good. Greetings and welcome to Cooking with Squirrel. If you're new here, I'm the Squirrel. Today we're cooking a dish for my best friend of 21 years. He asked me to create some, uh, create a recipe for his birthday and said I did three. So this is gonna be the first in a three part series. Uh, the dish is called Green Olive Blue Balls. That is, uh, yeah, I could have named it something different, but I didn't because I'm a giant child. Uh, so this dish is a shoe pastry filled with a blue cheese mousse and a uh, large green olive. It's very simple, very good appetizer. And let's get into the cook. All right, for our green olive blue balls, the ball part is going to be a shoe pastry. So we're gonna make a shoe pastry now. So we're gonna go in with uh, one cup of water and one stick of butter chopped up. Bring that up to a simmer. We're gonna do about half a teaspoon of salt. All right, we're good enough boil for me. We turn the heat off, pull this to the side. We're gonna dump all the flour in and begin to mix. You see it all gels up pretty quick. Let's get all the dry spots out. And we'll come back on the heat, medium heat, and we're gonna cook this out until we start to get a skin on the bottom. You see we're already starting to get a little bit of a film there. We'll go a little bit longer. All right, you see it, we're starting to get a good film on the bottom there. We're gonna go off the heat into stand mixer Let's see if we can get this in here and lift and turn on low and our goal now is to bring this down in temperature to about room temperature so that we can incorporate the eggs without scrambling them this will take about five or ten minutes so we're gonna let this go and uh, let you know when we're there all right while that's mixing we're gonna prep a piping bag for receiving of the dough. Uh, what we're gonna do is take our internal piece, slide it in, flip it around upside down. What works for me is to stick it on the tip of my finger and work it up there. Now we're not actually gonna use a tip on this because we don't need one for the shoe pastry puffs. So we'll leave the big round, lock that in place. We take that and we'll flip it up and into the bottom of our quart container and then roll out over the sides, ready to go. Okay, our dough's down to room temperature, so we're gonna start dropping in eggs. Got four eggs in this bowl, I'm just gonna derp one out at a time. And let it incorporate. Bloop. All right, it's incorporated. One more. Another one in. One more. And after the fourth, you have to determine if you need the fifth. We'll find out momentarily. I'm also going to stop this here and scrape down the bottom. Back in there. All right, that's pretty well incorporated. Let's take a look and see where our texture's at. Yeah, I think that's our little bird beak. I think we're good. Now we want to transfer this into our prepared piping bag. We will do one glop at a time. Bowl's empty. Scrape the last of this off here. Take a look at what we got. There we go. I think we're ready to pipe. Keep them roughly the same size. You can use a uh, parchment paper with drawn circles. It can help quite a bit. We'll come back as soon as I'm done piping all these. Dip your finger in some plain old water and you can form these quite a bit and you, it won't look like you've even touched them when they come out of the oven. 
Of course, if you're better at this to start with than me, then you won't have to poke them quite as much. All right, that's our shoe pastries formed. We're going into a 375 oven for 30 minutes, and then we'll have another little step to do. Do not open this during the first 30 minutes, first 25 minutes, it will cause them to collapse. Um, the steam will collapse and suck them in. So we don't want to do that. Uh, so we'll see you in 30 minutes. All right, we're going to make our blue cheese mousse now. We've got uh, eight ounces of very soft room temperature Roquefort blue, which is my favorite. You can use whatever you like. Eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Some finely cracked black pepper. Make sure you're uh, Cracking this pretty fine because if you use a star tip like I'm going to, you don't want it to get clogged in the star tip. I know that from experience. We just want to whip that together. A little bit longer, we still got some lumps. I'm not going to add any salt to this. Uh, the salt is to taste and Roquefort is very salty, so do not believe it needs any. If you have a less salty blue, you may need some. Buzz this up one more time. We're going to make some whipped cream. Go in with half a cup of heavy cream. And since this is such a small amount, I'm just going to hand whisk this. We've got soft peaks. We're going to scrape in our pureed blue cheese and cream cheese, and we will fold all this together. This gives us volume. It's going to give us a little bit of stiffening once it's chilled. There's a little airiness in the Moose. There we go. Pretty well combined. Piping bag. This time we're going to use a uh, little bit of a star tip for some fancy. Lock that on. Fold that over. Drop it in on the sides. We're going to work this right down in here. This is going to the fridge to chill while our shoe pastry finishes cooking and cooling. Okay, our shoe pastries are ready to come out for the next step. They are pretty much done, I think. What we're gonna do is poke these real quick and give them little bitty holes so they don't collapse on us. All right, we'll give these like two or three more minutes in the oven. Shoe pastries are done, coming out of the oven. Should all, should all be nice, light, and crispy. So we're gonna get them onto Cooling rack. Use tongs if you don't want to burn your fingers like me. There we are. One giant tray full of puffs. Uh, we set these aside, let them cool off, and uh, then we'll fill them. All right, our shoe pastry is cooled off. We're going to fill a couple and feed the birthday boy and uh, see what he thinks. So first what we'll do is we'll take the top off a couple of these. You have the top off, the inside's kind of squishy. You can kind of push it out of the way. Give us a nice hollow here. Here's our bag of mousse. It's nicely chilled, feels nice and stiff. So what we'll do is we'll fill this about halfway. And this part doesn't have to be pretty. Going about halfway with mousse. Then, We'll take an olive, nestle our olive in there. If you want to use smaller olives, you can, but uh, we like the big ones. Now we have our olive in. We'll give it a nice, pretty top. Like that. Put our hats back on. Jaunty little hat, jaunty little hat, and jaunty little hat. 
and there we have our appetizer. Let's go see what the birthday boy thinks. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, the birthday boy. These are shoe pastries that are filled with a blue cheese mousse and a whole green olive. This is your appetizer course. Yes. Please enjoy, sir. It's amazingly good. Yeah? Yes. Pork chop. It's Wanna every, do it? <laughs> everything that I expected it would be. Awesome. No, oh, it's so good. You are housing those. <laughs> All right, as you can see, the birthday boy loved his appetizer. He absolutely demolished it. Um, if you want to check out the rest of the videos in this series, they'll be coming out uh, one a week for the next two weeks. Uh, be a pasta dish and a cake believe it or not, made with blue cheese and green olives. Um, if you could do all the uh, YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, that really helps us out. And uh, if you have it within your power, please uh, try and do something nice for somebody today and make the world a little bit better place. And thanks for stopping by. Everybody wanted to talk. I just got to get through the appetizer so everybody can talk. So, shh. <laughs> Ashley, do you want to come be on camera? No. Uh, I hate that.